Hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm a researcher at the University of Ottawa. I would like to tell you about the work of Dr. King. She won a Canada Gardner International Award in 2021 for her research discovering groundbreaking insights on cancer genetics. Our DNA codes for a blueprint that makes you, you. This information is organized into working units called genes, which in turn are found on 23 pairs of chromosomes. All of this DNA is then packed into each and every cell in your body. Today, we know that deciphering the code of your genes can help give us clues on your risk of developing certain types of cancers, such as breast cancer. Scientist Dr. Mary Claire King was one of the first to investigate this, and she did this first by using math to monitor families with breast cancer. Here, she found that tracking these breast cancer cases led to calculations that strongly suggested genetic inheritance of this disease. However, she still had to find the gene responsible. In 1990, she was able to use new technology to pinpoint the gene to a region on chromosome 17. From there, the race was on to sequence and characterize this gene. This gene became known as the breast cancer 1 or BRCA1 gene. BRCA1 and its sister gene, BRCA2, both encode proteins that function as tumor suppressors. This means that they actively try to stop cancer from forming. BRCA proteins are important in repairing DNA breaks, which help protect cells from cancer-causing mutations. Now, people can have their genes sequenced to determine if they have any mutations in their BRCA1 or BRCA2 genes. Finding mutation could mean that the BRCA is not working properly and therefore makes the person more susceptible to harmful DNA mutations. This allows patients to take preventative actions to help lower their risk of developing cancer. Dr. Mary Claire King's lasting legacy in the cancer field is the revolutionary idea that cancer could be genetically inherited. This is now a crucial part of cancer research, as scientists now recognize that there are many genes involved in the development of human cancers. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to check out the comics and articles of the other award winners. Bye for now.